What's up, guys? I'm back. And uh, I'm surrounded by music, unfortunately, but this guy is live. This is Chris Jensen, and uh, you can see the stage there set up. What I'm going to do is, uh, this is kind of a media area that they have set up here. Um, and I'm going to walk towards the crowd. Um, just before I went live, there was a um, F-18 Hornet flying by. Gee, see, it's a, it's a lovely day here. Hey, Steve, -O, what's going on? Yeah, I, um, I wanted to check the batteries and all that. I'm still pretty good for now. And then I wanted to walk through here because I wasn't sure what it would entail. Um, so you can see this is an area that you would uh, pay to get into. And they have different things set up. And you know you can get out of the sun underneath the, uh, the tents there. Um, and they have food and drinks and all that good stuff. I'll go back and investigate that. Um, I do have a media pass. They were nice enough to give me. Um, but the air show has officially started. They just had a uh, B-52 fly by. I think you guys saw that. And they also had a um, F-18 Hornet that just got done here. So something should be coming next. And you can see uh, while I'm here, here's the ocean. Nice shot of it. Yeah, you can see this brownish there is probably submerged sargassum but look how teal green it is beyond that it's absolutely beautiful some kind of a uh, cargo type ship there where the cargo goes in the middle I'll give you guys a tighter shot so I don't know I don't know if that's a Coast Guard ship or what but uh, earlier today I didn't get out here for it because I was at the display village but earlier today they had um, uh, rescue missions, border patrol, and uh, fire rescue, and things of that nature. So, um, what I want to do, guys, is I just wanted to walk a little bit away from that music right now. And uh, here's the lifeguard here with the uh, Miami Beach colors on the tower. And so, this is where the general public would be on the other side of these uh, telescopic cameras. Thanks, Alfonso. Yeah, pretty safe here today. Unless you get swallowed up by some sargassum, you can see over here there's uh, a bit more of it. But you know, people haven't let it get them down or dampen their spirits. There's plenty of people still making it into the water. And uh, so this is the public area of Miami Beach where folks have gathered. It's free to be here. Uh, to to uh, set up shop, if you will, and um, watch the aircraft that they have here today in abundance, flying overhead. A lot of people are out with their cameras and coolers and taking it all in. It's like a beach patrol coming past us here, Ocean Rescue. Rolling, keeping everyone safe. Um, if you're just joining me and missed the first episode, I uh, mentioned the. Uh, I'm gonna get my shoes wet. Um, the temperature is uh, low 80s. I think we top out at 84 today, so it's not bad. And I'm just showing you the scenes here because I want you guys to get a full perspective. And then we'll walk back and I'll go through the little, it's not so little, the area that they have that is uh, offering other options for both viewing and um, eating and drinking and all that good stuff. So it's an ocean rescue boat that's right there. Happy Memorial Day, yes, absolutely. And to all you and your families as well. Lake Nona says, looks great out there. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. There's a nice breeze coming from the northeast. 
and uh, you could see some pillowy clouds out towards the horizon, but not much in the middle of that. Now, there are some gray clouds coming in from the Everglades, but uh, nothing really too threatening. Uh, I did check the Dopplers before I left Palm Beach, and uh, it, it, it said the chances of rain today were close to zero. So, you know, it's South Florida, so anything's possible, but you can see all the boats that are out there today making a day of it and watching the air show from the water. The gimbal is shaky at times? Okay. Thanks for letting me know that. Uh, yeah, you know, I think it's time for a new one. Uh, maybe I'm better off just taking it off the gimbal. I don't know. But I am, you know, I'm moving here. I'm on sand. And um, actually, I just, I just went ahead and um, see right there, I'm jumping to get out of the water. Uh, too late. Uh, I just went ahead and I did a, um, ah, what do they call that? Calibration. I did a calibration, so maybe I didn't do a good job. Yeah, I could actually see it shaking. Hold on, let me see if I could, could see that. So thanks for bringing it to my attention. I'll try, uh, I'll try to walk gingerly. There's nothing worse than having a camera that's shaking when it's on a gimbal. It should not be doing that. Thank you, Gail. Good to see you. Hi, Yoli. It's very difficult to see the screen too, guys, because of the glare, but I'll uh, try my best. So they do have quite an assortment of aircraft that are supposed to be here today in the lineup and officially started at one o'clock. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get out here until the first aircraft, which was an F-18 F Hornet uh, that did a lot of tricks and stuff. By the time I got set up, it was done. So there should be something uh, coming up here again shortly. Either way, it's a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me. I want to be your live window to the world of South Florida and, um, and a beautiful day that we finally have some good weather. I, I, th I believe that a lot of the lousy weather that we had here made its way north and it's affecting a lot of you guys now like in the mid-atlantic so sorry about that um but for an air show it's nice this was rain or shine by the way i looked it up and they said yeah you know come out if you want if it rains it's rain or shine event so anyway hello greetings welcome thank you for joining me it's uh it's a long day of festivity so i'm going to try to bring as much of it to you live as possible Yeah, you know, by the way, just a, another word about the shakiness. It could also be the camera. Um, let me try zooming out, because it could be the um, Prism software doing that and not the gimbal, believe it or not. That might be better. I'll just walk up here a bit and show you guys the folks that are assembled here on Miami Beach's shores to uh, really get two for one. Nice day at the beach and uh, an air show to boot. Somebody there on a jet ski. I don't know if that's a patrol boat, ocean rescue, could be, but they did have a jet ski show earlier. Well, that's actually a wave runner, I guess. Wow, I just got majorly wet, guys. Yeah, hi, Lane. I just mentioned it, and I think you could see that it is uh, a pretty nice day. What you're, what you're seeing is pretty much what you're getting here, is a, uh, a, a, a decent little breeze coming from the northeast, and a mostly sunny day, partly cloudy, and just a, just a lovely day. Looks like the uh, Ocean Rescue is doing something here. Alfonso wants to know what I'm doing on Memorial Day. Uh, don't know yet. Stay tuned. I really, this is, this was my plans for the weekend was to come out here to show you guys this.
so it looks like where I am right now is uh, part of my entry. I just realized. So all these people paid to get in here, looks like, right? Because they have these uh, barricades here. There's a security guy here. So. What's up, buddy? Are you talking to me? Yeah. What? Huh? Stay on this side? Yeah. Oh, okay, no problem. This is all private here, and that's the public right there? Huh? I got gotcha. you. Okay, no problem. All right. Well, guys, you can see he wants me to stay in here. I, probably because he can't let me back in once I go out. Then you can see how many people actually paid to get in here. You can look at the ticket prices online, guys. You can go to uh, Hyundai airandseashow.com, I think is what the website is. But if you Google, it'll come right up. And there's all the information about the schedule of events, who's going to be here, and all that. Yeah, actually, it makes sense, because there's the stage. So. Cameron said, I wanted to come, but stuck in work. What jets just flew? The F-18 just went by. Uh, I know they're going to also have the uh, F-16 which is the, uh, what is that called? The Falcon, right? And the F-15, which is really an older plane now, guys. Think about it. The F-15, and these are all Air Force, by the way. Um, they have some Army stuff, too. They've got some, uh, like I, I mentioned earlier, all branches of the military are represented here today in in some way, shape, or form. But the one that I really want to see is that F-35. Hopefully I didn't miss that. I don't think so. That's one that's hard to miss. The F-35 is nicknamed the Lightning II. And that is a beautiful aircraft. You know, one of the newer ones compared to some of those that I've mentioned previously. But you know, I know you guys like to see what's going on on the beach too. This is a big part of the show and the day is to show you the crowds that have gathered here on a beautiful day. We all know that Florida, a lot of people say, oh, Florida's getting crowded. Everybody's moving down there. Well, you know, I'll let you guys be the judge of that, but certainly uh, a lot of people down here and taking advantage of the things there are to do and the beauty of the surroundings. Vapor said, I used to be into jets a lot when I was a kid. Top Gun's my third favorite movie of all time. He's got them ranked, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. It is a great movie. And uh, go back and watch it. If you missed it, watch the display village that I went live to from previous to this. And you'll see that they have a uh, actual cockpit and really good part of the plane that you could uh, climb up and into and they give you the little helmet you can wear and take a picture it's 10 bucks which isn't bad you know think about it. it's not every day you get that opportunity to get that picture if you're just joining me this is a barefoot vlogger you're looking at the atlantic ocean here live on miami beach this is the South Beach area, uh, right by around like 13th Street, Loomis Park, and all of the iconic hotels that you guys love. Just pan here to the right a little bit and show you all the folks that gathered here. Again, these are this is the paying crowd that paid to get in here to this part. So there's a little, more, a little bit more room because where the guy wouldn't let me go past, you can see there, you can see all the folks. Closer shot of where I was and walked back from. I know that's shaky. What happens is the closer you get, the shakier it is. And I just wanted to show you where we came from. Thank you, Alfonso. They're doing great. I appreciate that. 
Tell your uh, wife hello and your son thank you for his service. I really appreciate that. I sure will. Thank you. So there's a stage there, and uh, there is a performer right now. I think they said his name is Chris Jansen. Do you guys know Chris Jansen? I guess he's a country singer. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, he, he was just up there performing. I think that's still him right there. Oh, PP! Thank you so much, PP. PP was worried about me, asking where I was. It was raining. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. And thank you for your contribution. It's so kind of you and great to see you. Thanks for joining me on Memorial Day weekend. And a lot of our servicemen and women are here today, as you will see. Not just the ones in the air and in the sea right now, but those uh, that are here manning the booths and uh, answering questions and uh, showing off a lot of the uh, hardware. So they do have little breaks in between, and I guess that's what we're experiencing right now. Maybe what I'll do in the meantime, guys, is I'll walk through there and uh, just show you that area. Problem I have over there is the music, to be quite honest with you. Not a lot of people swimming on this side. Yeah, I, I don't know how to do that. I'll have to look into that, PP. Rumple. I don't even know what that is. Well, I know when you say the word rumple, I think of rumple still skin. Or is that rumble? So, yeah, this is a. Uh, Live concert happening right now. Chris Jansen, I think, I think they said that was his name. You guys know yeah, this guy? That's awesome. Well, this next song I thought was pretty fitting for this taping today, ladies and gentlemen. I wrote this for some friends of mine in a successful duo called Low Cash. But since I was being a writer on the song, I figured I'd play it today. If you love America today, will you please make some noise now?
So this is like the uh, VIP lounge lookout tower here. Can I get in there with this? What is this exactly? It's like all the veterans, like all the higher ups, I guess. Oh. That's the only people allowed. All, all the muckety mucks. I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. No, it's like some kind of a VIP access. Even media is not allowed in there. So. So guys, you can see just by looking, it's not really offensively hot. I mean, yeah, you know, we're not in the highest summer yet, but it's, it is almost June. So for Florida, that uh, typically is, it's typically already very warm down here. I'm not saying it's a cool day, but it's not bad. Here's Miss Florida is down here, enjoying the day. Party is right with you, nice. Uh, yeah, it looked like military to me. This guy looks like he's a pilot with the jumpsuit. Okay, so this is media, so I'm allowed in here. Hey. It's like a little media village in here. Maybe I'll get a beer, guys. What do you think? Guys have cold beer back there? Can I get one? Yeah, which one? Uh, I'll do that one. Yeah. How much is it? It's complimentary. Thank really? You so much. Yes. Can, can you give me change so I can give you a tip? Yes, of course. Let me give you the six, one, Just give me back three bucks, you guys. Two, perfect. Three. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, you give me a free beer. Give her a nice tip. Yes. Uh. All right, guys, I got a beer in hand. Hold on, let me get set up here and situated. It's dark and they got food too? Look at this. We're in, guys, we're in like Flint. Just putting you there for a second so I can get situated. Cheers, guys. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Here's to each and every one of you and all those that serve our country and served our country and uh, made the ultimate sacrifice to preserve our freedom. Onward and upward. A little strong, but good. So uh, let's walk around through here a little bit and I'll show you. I'm still waiting for some aircraft to show you guys. It's a long break there. See anything? What are they? What is it? B2. Oh, B2? That's the uh, stealth bomber, right? Oh, the stealth bomber, guys. Oh, there it is. You see it? It looks like, it looks like Batman's, uh, logo or something, I don't know. So cool. 
guys see it? Stealth Bomber. I think that's Grumman that made that, right? If I'm not mistaken. It's got a serious range, that thing, too. Barefoot in Miami. What's up, Richard? Yeah, at the air show. Why not? You know? You're a man in the sand, literally. I want to uh, see if I could get a closer shot of that for you guys. Where did it go? It's stealth. I don't see it anymore. It'll come closer, too. I lost it. All right, we'll keep walking here. If you're just joining me, it's a Barefoot Vlogger. I'm live here in Miami Beach. It's the Hyundai Air and Sea Show. And um, this is a... Uh, this is, a, this is an area that you would pay an admission to get into or if you're with the media. And uh, you can see people chowing down here, sitting down and relaxing. They got bars set up, they got tables. Let's see what this says. Is this all included? I guess, yeah. It, it, it is, yeah, wow. Okay. What is that? Roast beef? All right, I just wanted to I want to walk around, guys. I want to show you what I'm seeing here. I'll tell you what, it's nice and cool under here. Oh, there it is, B-52. Check it out. the tail end of it. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know. I, I, I won't make comparisons to the Fort Lauderdale one, but it's definitely a little bit of a different vibe here. Bitty. Yeah, I mean, they got live music here and uh, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Chris Jensen. There it is. Chris, if you're listening, can you guys see I it? Hold love on. your new song. And Chris Jensen is the only guy whose entire audience is covered by a B-52 flying while he's performing. That's pretty cool. We got to take that B-52 on the road with Chris Jensen. All right, now, That's two airplanes over guys. here at Air Show Center. Stealth. The B-52 down low. First introduced and test flown in 1952, a 78-minute test flight. Intro to the United States Air Force in 1955. And now projected to be active until the year 2050. If you do the math, guys, the actual technical name of the uh, B2 is a lot of people call it the stealth now, bomber, but it's actually the called the Spirit. That's going to change eventually. There were three engine companies that were in line to receive the bid to change the engine, and it is North from the smoke engine to the clean environment, quiet, cool, miserly engine. 
All right, guys. Well, sure I, told you I guess I'll, I'll head it back out to the Bull beach. I just wanted Wendy. to show this to you. Just several weeks ago, it has been introduced that it was Rolls Royce in North America that got the contract for the 600 new engines that will not have this type of smoke anymore. And I'm sad about that. I love the nostalgia. Oh, look at this thing. Engine smoking. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, is that the, the C5 Oregon Galaxy? I think that's a C5 Galaxy. Has produced in the cockpit pilots whose father and grandfather flew this airplane, these types of aircraft. Tandem gear, typical of the AV8B Harrier aircraft and the U2 spy plane. What did he say it is? What? Yeah. Oh, that's the B-52? Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't recognize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, because that thing is uh, has been flying, guys, since the 1950s. Isn't that incredible? Now, in the sky at the same time is another aircraft from the future. It is the B-2 Spirit. Oh, I'm trapped in here. I can't get out. Does that mean I gotta walk all the way around? Look at that. Why do they do that? Hmm. will have in the air a B-52, a B-2, and a B-1B bomber in the same time period. Is that an exaggeration? No, that is a fact. We can back it up. Nowhere else in the world would you see these three great assets, all distinctly different, being presented. Where else but the city of Miami Beach? We are so fortunate. Again, you're gonna think I'm exaggerating, but I am not. Crew of five in the B-52. This song they're playing is Eddie Grant, Drop the Bomb on Me. That's so funny electronic warfare officer as well. And Michelle, marvelous Michelle, my great uh, boss here, your dad flew the B-52. Yes, he did. Once a B-52 pilot, always a B-52 pilot. So there are times you know, when yeah, they will get one of these assets, like a B-52, but no others. There will be shows where we might get two of these assets, a B-1B and a B-2 but not three. Very rarely, and usually at this show, do we get all three of the aircraft. We want to thank the military leaders that made this all possible to be able to happen. And again, to make this the only place in the entire world where it can happen, it is happening today. By the way, Brian, if you want to research a good movie, I don't think you can get I used to love that song. And they got a lot of uh, places to grab a, a drink. Frosty beverage set up. It's, by the way, not just the military, it's also first responders here, guys, that we're doing, uh, putting on demonstrations. Firefighters and, uh, you know, a, a lot of um, folks that help keep us safe and protect us, well represented today. Uh, in fact, I could see some helicopters flying there. Is that the Apaches? I know they had the uh, Apaches here today. There's another shot of the stealth going through the clouds there. Just flying around, taking it all in. I was reading about this stealth bomber, the Spirit, the B-2. They were saying that um, that is not due to be replaced until 2035, but they're already in the, uh, it, it, you know, the planning stages for that. Here we go. Here, here it comes again, the B-52, I think. That's what it looks like to me. Getting ready to fly right over the coast here, guys. I'll get closer for you.
nothing could really bank for such a big aircraft. By the, by the way, the range on that thing, before it needs to refuel again, 8,800 mile range. It can carry 70,000 pounds of bombs and equipment. Just wanted to say hello real quick, guys. It's me barefoot, your man in the sand here in Miami Beach, and uh, having a, a nice day with the good folks that are out here celebrating this weekend. And I'm glad that I could bring it to you if you can't be here. So that's my job. Thanks for joining me, guys. It means a lot to me. You know, I know it's a holiday, and a lot of you guys have things planned. Enjoy it, have fun, get out there, do the barbecues. Uh, if it's raining, don't let it get you down. Do the best you can. But thanks for joining me, guys. Oh, we got Jamaica in the house. What's up, Lynn? Thanks for sharing the show and walk with us. The ocean is beautiful. Uh, I love the plains. Me too, and thank you. And uh, I've been to your beautiful country several times and uh, would love to go back and visit again. It's, uh, I don't know if any of you guys have been to the island of Jamaica, but I'll tell you what, that is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Been to Ocho Rios, been to Negril, and um, really enjoyed it. You can see the B-52 making its turn out there. I, don't, I hope you can see it. I'll, I'll try to tighten up. I'll try to do what I can with the lenses, with the shots. Oh, you're welcome, Jamie. Thanks for being here and watching it. This is all on an iPhone, so it, it, it may not be the perfect shots and uh, steadiness and all that, but it's real. B-52 flying right over my head here in a matter of seconds. You'll hear it. They are, of course, uh, jet engines, and um, you know it's it's relatively old technology. It's uh, you know that thing has been flying since the 1950s. Oh, is this the stealth coming right at us, guys? Look at this. Let me get closer. This is the stealth. This is the B2 Spirit. Can you guys see it? It's very flat. It's basically a flying wing. It is right over my head, guys. Right now. And it is stealth, but I can still hear it. Vaguely. Why stealth is important is because it could evade, you know, va various radar systems and then go in on a mission and drop its bombs and do what it has to do. It is a bomber. That thing is beautiful. It's like a flying wedge. The bottom of it. It looks like a boomerang, and the bottom of it always reminded me of Charlie Brown's shirt. Remember? Yeah, you know, I wish I had better lenses and better capabilities for you guys, uh, but I am able to do a live stream with this camera from my phone and bring it to you. And it's really cool. Looks like he is turning back towards us. See if I could zoom back in.
Angelina says, wow, cool, yeah, isn't it? Very cool. I'm glad that we got to see that. Uh, I do know that there are quite a few aircraft scheduled to be here today throughout the day. It's a long show, started at 1 p.m. for the aircraft, and I think it goes till 6 p.m. Of course, my batteries won't last that long, but um, pretty cool. I mean, they, they have even like the F-15. Tom Cruise flew, I looked it up, I wanted to make sure I was correct. He flew the Tomcat, right? The uh, F-14. And it's funny, but when the movie came out, we were all like, oh, wow, that's so cool. Look at that thing. And it, it does like 1,400 miles an hour. But guys, that goes back to like 1972, I think, like early 70s. The Eagle's first flight was, which is the F-15, which they have here today, is, uh, was in 1976. So it's, you know, it's a long time ago. I'll slowly pin this way and show you. You could see some helicopters that are uh, to the west of Collins Avenue there. Putting on some kind of a show. I, and I know they have a, ver a variety of helicopters that are here too. The, uh, the Apache is here. I'm not sure if that's what that is. It looks like it might be. The Apache is the uh, AH-64. You guys see in a lot of the movies. Oh, hi, Andrew. Fantastic vlog. You are the best. Remember the best. Concord. Oh, look, it's flying right over me. Oh, I was slow with the switch, guys. I was asleep at the switch. And uh, the gimbal, I have you guys on a gimbal now, and it doesn't like what I do that, but too bad. I'm gonna do the best I can for you. I'm standing here drinking a, a frosty, what is this? Flight, aptly named. It's Yingling. So instead of light, it's Yingling Flight. And uh, it doesn't get any better than this, guys. Memorial Day, holiday weekend. Standing here drinking a, cr a cold beer and I uh, have all of you with me, the Barefoot Army, aptly enough. And uh, taking in a really fun air and sea show. Let me show you the ocean. Anybody know what that is? Let's get a close, let's get as close as we can to that thing. It's not that far out there. So in the middle of that goes something. I'm not sure exactly what. I don't know if it would be aircraft. I don't think so, because it'd be hard for anything, even if it had vertical takeoff capability to take off from that, so. Probably they had equipment on there, maybe even some of the vehicles that we were uh, looking at earlier during that uh, village display live stream that I did. If you missed it, please go back and check it out. There's one of the Apache helicopters. It's hard to see, guys. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Pretty sure that's an AH-64. We will be in Longbow Key, Angelina says, in two weeks. Nice. Yeah, 
Allen. What's up, Allen? How you doing, Canada? Good to see you. Military transport my guest by the sea. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Any red tide today? We don't get red tide on this side, if you're asking me. We don't get that here ever. This is the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, it's a good question, though. A lot of people don't know that. The red tide is uh, caused by a critter that needs um, different water conditions that it will find in the Gulf, not here. We have our hands full with this stuff that they don't have on the Gulf so much of. And that is this uh, sargassum seaweed that I have showed you ad nauseum. And it typically has a... I saw the pelican, guys, and I thought it was the stealth. Come on, pelican! Um, but it typically has a, a season, if you will, that starts later, and it's mostly in the summer, but because of that 5,500-mile sargassum belt that is out there, let me see if I can get a shot of this for you guys. Hold on, I'm going to tighten up the shot. We got helicopters. Hold on, there's another one. That one's easier to find. Oh, the parachuters. Can you see them? These are the Golden Knights. Do you see them coming out? Look at them all. Paratroopers. They just dropped out of the helicopters. Remember the D-Day invasion, guys, when a lot of our guys did that to liberate the world. What did they learn? God bless them all. Many of them never made it to the ground alive, guys, during World War II. And we salute them today and thank them for their sacrifice. I know it's a little shaky, guys. I mean, I have you on a gimbal. It'll be a lot shaker if you weren't, but I, I zoomed in the shot to get as close as I could. And uh, I, are they just gonna land in the water? Or is there a, there's a little landing pad out there they're all gonna land on? Let's see if I could get closer. Right in the water, right in the ocean. Splash. Wow. I'm glad I was, I happened to be looking up. That was incredible. So I believe those are called the, uh, the Golden Knights, which is US Army. But they also have, um, the leapfrogs, which are navy, so I'm not, I, I, honestly, I don't know which those are. I'm assuming it's the Golden Knights. I, but I, th I think the Golden Knights parachutes, though, are, are gold. So I don't know. If anybody knows, please uh, let me know in the chat. Let everyone know. Because I don't. If you're just joining me, I'm the Barefoot Vlogger. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you being here. It means a lot to me. I want you to know that. And uh, if you like what you're seeing and you don't mind, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you along and join this Barefoot Army. Doesn't cost anything to do it. There you go. Here we go. Is that a Sikorsky? I think that's a Sikorsky. You could see them still in there, some of them.
Sharkfish says it's a Jayhawk. Okay. Watching from Hungary. What's up, Hungary? Budapest, right? Is he gonna land on that? No way. Don't tell me he's gonna land on that. He is. I can't believe that he could fit in there and land that thing. Unbelievable. They're watching a helicopter land on a ship here in the Atlantic Ocean right off Miami Beach. Oh, we just dropped something. A rope. Did you see the guy come off of that? Another one. I'm doing my best to keep this steady, guys. I know it's a little jumpy, sorry about that, but I wanted to give you a tighter shot. We could see the uh, folks descending from there. I don't think he's gonna land. I think he was just dropping his crew members. Look at that. Outstanding, outstanding. I got, I got goosebumps, guys. It's not all about the jets that are flying and you know, as incredible as that is, this is unbelievable. Wow. I think that answers that question as <laughs> what that ship is doing out there. Wow. Hi, LAB, what's going on? Diddy says, cool. Tell him to fly it upside down like the AT. What's up, Indy, Florida? Kurt says his Navy buddy flew F 15E in the. In in storm, desert storm, wow. Drop off and go. This thing is very close to where I'm standing. This is a great vantage point, guys. I will tell you, this is the best spot I've ever been in for an air show. Hands down. I love the helicopters. I don't know if you guys ever saw the movie Black Hawk Down. That was a great movie. Sorry, I don't mean to whip you guys around, but where is he? There he is. Oh, TJ, thank you for your sons and your family's sacrifice to our great country, Scott I said. Absolutely. Pilots are bad, oh, TJ said. Absolutely, aren't they? I mean, just imagine the training. You know, we talk about the sacrifices. Obviously, putting your life on the line, it, that's the ultimate sacrifice. It doesn't get any bigger than that. But also the training and everything they have to go through. I mean, it's like, just to use my son as a, an example, as an air traffic controller, I mean, the stuff he's done and the studying he had to do and the things he went through, it was, it was grueling. Hold on, this one's closer. Will, by gosh, visit Rockaway Beach for the first time. Really? I used to hang out there. Mets race game in Queens. Race loss. Crowd went crazy. Loved the fans there. Yeah, I remember uh, Rockaway Beach. Used to go there a lot because they had good waves there. He is just hovering, guys. Oh, look at these guys! I'm going to run over there.
Sorry about the shake, guys. Hold on. These guys just jumped out of that helicopter. Love you guys. Spare for Vlogger, live, the Aaron C Show. I'm gonna get in there with them. Get in a little bit. This is what they do, guys. This is a little window on their world of what they gotta go through and what they gotta do to make the sacrifice. We love you guys. Salute. Need a push? You saw it first here live, guys, on the Barefoot Vlogger Network. I tried to get as close to it as I could without, you know, causing any issues. I, I did get requested to be moved back, which, of course, I complied with immediately. I wanted to get you guys right in there to show you what it's like. And I'll tell you what, anybody, any of you young folks that are out there that are considering a life in the military. There is a lot of great things about it that you should certainly seriously consider. I'm not just talking about the benefits that they offer, which are tremendous, 